Hello. Before we come to God in our congregational prayer, I just wanted to let you know about this week's offering, which is to support the work and ministry of um, the Headingas and their work with Wycliffe Bible Translators. So like many of us, their work has changed in what it looks like um, since the beginning of COVID. They are now working from here in Canada and making connections to various locations and um, the work that the Bible translators are doing in different locations. So the thing that hasn't changed though is their need for our support. And um, if you are interested in helping support the ministry of the Headingas, you can look in our bulletin and find the way that you can do that. Let's come before God in a word of prayer. Loving God, we come to you now from our church and our homes. We know and we live the story of your presence and care in our lives and in the lives of our friends and neighbors. We see you in the faithful work of the Hedingas, and we are thankful. You are the God who dwells in us and dwells among us. It is in you the ancestors of our faith have trusted and were not disappointed. And today in your presence, we come in thankfulness for your living love, assured that you hear the prayers we say and the prayers we live. Before you, living God, we offer thanks and prayers. In congregation with one another, we declare your name and give you praise. But loving God, we come to you also in anger and despair we look out and we see a world gripped by fear and virus. We see a looming unknown in the place of the future we had imagined. Changing realities affect every part of our lives. A world where pain, addiction, and loneliness can be constant companions. We are weary. When we feel poured out and our strength has dried up, we pray for deliverance. Meet us, God, in these barren places with your replenishing strength and presence. We pray for school administrators. We pray for students and for their teachers and parents as they, with anticipation and anxiety, prepare to return to school in the coming weeks. We pray for those who will continue to work and learn from home. Knit us together. We pray for Pastor Carrie, for Jason, and for the girls as they wait for news this week about the course of treatment that Carrie's cancer will require. We plead to you for hope, hope in the waiting and hope in the knowing. Do not be far from them in moments of fear and trouble and continue to sustain them with the manna of joy. Living and loving God, we raise to you our prayer and before the mystery of both your presence and absence, we wait upon you now. It is in your almighty, everlasting name that we pray. Amen.